Hi Taurus, welcome to your weekly forecast. This is for February 9th until 16th. Alright, let's take a look what's going to be coming your way. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Okay. You know, Taurus, you need to make a choice uh, this week, but you need to be a little bit more careful in choosing. Okay, don't be a little bit impulsive. Don't rush into things. Learn how to balance because it seems like the choice that you will be making needs to, you know, um, there are a lot of uh, considerations that you have to take. Now, you are also planning or you want to walk away from your job or you want to quit. You know, because of the things that you're currently going through. But this is not yet the right time. Okay? You're feeling a little bit overworked. And uh, you're also feeling a little bit uh, stressed out. You know, especially mentally. And um, there are some issues. Like, let's say, for example, about the time. You know, that you're feeling a little bit... Uh, not really right that you've been working too long too hard and it's not being compensated all right now some taurians who's trying to have a baby or who wants to have a baby there will be a very good news or there will be some light you know that you're gonna be seeing and uh, it seems like this is gonna be a very positive week for you all right and uh, there will be some good news that's going to be coming your way. And I feel like this is also partly the reason why you have to quit from working. Some Taurians uh, will have a very sensitive pregnancy or there will be some sensitivity that is due to their health. Okay. Now, you will be a little bit um, sensitive, emotional, and touchy. Okay, this week. And um, you don't really have to worry about, you know... A lot of uh, stuff when it comes to your finances because it seems like your finances will still be uh, will still be lighter and will still be you know moving and progressive it's just that there is something that you are waiting for but it's not yet gonna come you know so wait for another week and it will definitely go there now you are also, when it comes to your relationships or when it comes to your, uh, let's say your domestic life or to somebody that you're with, you're feeling a little bit discontented, a little bit walled up, disconnected, detached, you know, cold and distant because th there are some things in a relationship that you want to happen, that you want to see, that you want to witness, but it seems like you're, either your partner is intentionally ignoring your needs or your partner just, you know, practically doesn't care at all. So this is your, your main thinking. And, you know, this is also one of the reasons why if you are trying to make a decision about whether you should go or not, try to let this energy pass by or try to let this week pass by and try to, you know, um, wait for a little while or try to be a little bit more patient because this is definitely not the week for you to make a very major decision about a major issue okay uh, you just I, I also feel like you just need to talk both of you do not really understand the way you've been treating each other and it has been and it's been going on for quite a while and um you know, when there are some things that your partner wants to tell you, or when there are some things that your partner raises up, you're not really listening, or you don't want to listen, because it's for you, it's like, ah, here we go again, you're like this, you're like that, you know, it's like we're just going in circles, and yada, yada, yada. But you know what, if you can just try to understand where your partner is coming from, then I feel like you're, you know, you will definitely come up with a solution, instead of walling each other up and uh, withdrawing. Okay, this is, you know, this relationship is worth saving for, but sometimes we just need to take a break. 
you know, or sometimes we just need to move away from the other, you know, go on a vacation, visit your family, take a quick getaway, you know, on the weekends and um, have a little breather, okay, for you to have more space and for you to think things through. Because, you know, when that person that is already right in front of us just overcrowds our space, we tend to push away more, okay? So, at this point, both of you need to have some space, some time away from each other. But I don't see any separation. I don't see any third party of some sort. I feel like, um, well, there is going to be like a warning in your relationship, but it's not going to be this week. Okay? So, let's take a look at your Oracle cards. Some Tarines are actually not really, um, you know, satisfied with their job or satisfied with whatever they've been doing, their career. They're, you know, they keep on thinking on how to change things or how to move forward or what to do next. Okay, they're still looking for their life path and for their life purpose. And uh, they're still confused. But uh, you will know the answer by the end of the, by the, end of the month. All right. And the year is also going through the uh, the energy change because uh, now we are all in the year of the pig. All right, go the distance, poised and thinker. Time for a nap. Yeah, that you know, that is actually what you need. You need to relax. You need to catch up some more sleep so that you won't be that moody, and you won't be that uh, you know irritable. You need to discard that negativity out of your system and uh, out of your heart or out of your chest okay and don't be so blinded you know for those Tureans who's been having some suitors or you know uh, admirers um, not because that this person is paying attention to you they are what you see okay or they are what you think they are there is somebody around you who's been wearing a mask and not really being true to you be very careful who is going to be, you know, who, who's going to play around with your feelings or who's going to play around with your, you know, with your mind. And uh, try to read their body language. If they keep on claiming something and their movements or their actions doesn't really match, that is already a red flag. Okay. Now, you will surely go the distance, especially when it comes to your work. Okay. I know that you're feeling a little bit impatient about your work and about the the compensations and stuff like that, but wait for somebody that's going to be uh, leaving their position or leaving the company. And I feel like, you know, you've been waiting for this break and you've been waiting for this moment to come. Your boss or your superior will finally recognize your efforts and will finally recognize your contribution to the company and they will be recommending you for that position to handle all right so you need to be a little bit more patient i know that you've been waiting for the sign like where am i gonna go what is my life purpose i'm feeling so bored with this job you know and I've been stuck with this position, with this job for, you know, for this so and so years and nothing, nothing is happening in my life. And I am so afraid that I might just die sitting in this chair and, you know, just doing the same old job and like the others that they've already moved far from their life. Your time will come. All right. And don't think you're, you tend to overanalyze things. I feel like just let things flow the way they, uh, you know the way they are deemed to be and uh, don't try to control things all right so have a great weekend and uh, if you want to talk to me live in the phone or live video call live video call is now on a you know it's uh, available in my website now it's still uh, a, we are still testing it and uh, you may also download our app from your android apple is not yet ready you just need to find the, the link or I click on the link in my homepage in my website, sophiaangel.net. And, 
you know, pre-recorded video readings, it's also available. Try to get your annual readings for the for the 2019. All right. So have a great weekend and blessings to you.